Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Dacia Duster Prestige all-wheel drive and next to me is a Land Rover Defender 110 D300X, the most extreme off-road version of the new Defender. And we're gonna have an uphill drag race and compete over a range of off-road challenges to see which car is best off-road. The car that wins the challenge gets two points. The car that comes second or last gets one point. And if a car doesn't finish a challenge, then it will get no points. At the end, the car with the most points wins simple. So let me tell you about this Dacia Duster. So under its bonnet is a massive 1.5 litre turbocharged diesel engine with a colossal 115 horsepower and 260 newton metres of torque. It drives normally the front wheels via six-speed manual gearbox but you do have the ability to put it into four-wheel drive lock mode so it can send power to the rear wheels. Now this car it's quite lightweight really for a modern car. Comes in at 1.4 tonnes and it's very cheap. This range shopping version is just 22 thousand pounds. The tyres I'm running on are all seasons, what the car came with from the press office and what you'll get from the factory. That Defender, it's got a three litre turbocharged six cylinder diesel engine with 300 horsepower and 650 newton metres of torque, driving all four wheels via an eight speed automatic gearbox. It has a central locking diff, a rear locking diff, it's got air suspension that's height adjustable. Because it's the X model, it's got various off-road upgrades as well. That car is running on some all-terrain tyres. Now, from the factory you can upgrade to all-terrain tires those aren't the exact same tires you get from the factory but they're of a similar extremeness now that Land Rover is rather heavy it weighs in at 2.3 tons it's very expensive as well 84,000 pounds and that's if you can get your hands on one there's a like a year-long waiting list so maybe just sod that off and go for a duster in fact if you're thinking about buying a new car and you want to make sure you're paying a fair price and want to check out all the latest savings click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below to go to car wow anyway if you want that at a later date just simply google help me car wow and we will help you get your next car okay let's do this buy sell car wow Right, we're going to do this race. Now I've got a bit of a problem in the way that this is a manual car. The handbrake needs to be all the way up to stop me sliding back down. And yet I've got to hold it on the handbrake and just find the bite point in order to be able to just get a clean launch. Whereas it's got an automatic, it can just brake boost. In my advantage though, I'm not so worried about damaging this car as I whiz over the crest of that hill because this is a lot cheaper to buy and replace and fix than that thing. So maybe that'll play to my advantage. Let's find out, here we go. Three, two, one. Go! You bugger, come on! Full power, come on! We had the lovely Graham starting the race and now we need the lovely Graham to tell us who won that. the international call for a Graham. Graham? There he is. Okay, so Defender won. Oh, by how much? How much? It's not that big a difference really. Anyway, it's two points to the Land Rover Defender and one point to the Dacia Duster. This next challenge is all about manoeuvrability because when you're off-roading, sometimes you have to wheel through narrow tracks and passes. What we're gonna do is drive along this little course here and then go around a hairpin. Now, if somebody touches the tree or they touch the actual outside of the track, they will get a five second penalty. Graham is timing us and the car with the fastest time wins. Go! Now we've got Andy Harris driving his very own Land Rover Defender there. So I wonder how cautious he's going to be with it. He's flown around the top much quicker than I thought he would be. Oh, he's had to slow down there a bit. It's my opportunity. He's smashed it. Whoa, that was wicked. Oh, that, that was good. Oh, oh, no. Come on, Graham, give me the bad news because he looked quick around there. He was very quick. What a sod. Oh, 19.21. Were there any penalties at the top end there? No, he was clean all the way around. No touches. Bugger it. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Duster! Okay, so that Land Rover Defender had a turning circle of 12.8 metres. So I thought he was going to struggle at the top end. This is 10.7 metres, so let's see how we go. Come on. Go! Yeah. <laughs> Got him there. Duster power on bottom. Oh, the, the stability control just kicked in. And stopped me doing stuff. <laughs> do, do you know what happened to me? The stability control kicked in and it just killed the power. I think I did him. 
3.22! Two points to the duster, one to the defender. It means that they're level on three points overall. But Graham, I need you to quickly check my nose and my underside to make sure it's still all intact. Most of it's there. Is there some damage? No, no, it's all there. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> yes! I've jumped into the Land Rover Defender for the next challenge, which is a downhill race where the objective is to come last, not first, because here we're testing each of the car's ability to do a controlled descent down a slope. So both these vehicles have hill descent control, and we're going to see which one can control the vehicle in the slowest manner possible. Let's find out what happens. Oh, he just shot off. <laughs> He's got a manual, so he lifted off the clutch and off it went. Oh, this can go so slow down. I can actually use this lever here on the cruise control to put it into the slowest mode. But look, I'm only just crossing the line now. Don't know what that noise is. It sounds like a ship's foghorn. I think it's the brake just nibbling at the disc. We know the verdict, but let's hear it from the official himself, Graham. Defender wins that, I think. <laughs> Quite easily, I mean, it's got all the tech. Started off a little bit quick at the top, but then it just grabs hold of it. It does, yeah. Although it was making a strange noise from its brake. Wet brakes. Okay, there we go. Anyhow, two points to the Land Rover, one to the Dacia. That means that after three challenges, it is five points for the Defender and four for the Duster. This next challenge is going to test these cars, chassis articulation, their suspension travel, and their ground clearance. And incidentally, this Defender has a ground clearance of 290 millimeters compared to just 210 for the Duster. Also, in this Defender, I've got a very clever electronically controlled off-road system with different settings. So I'm going to go into rock crawl mode now. And the car's stability control systems and its differentials will work out what to do to keep me moving. We're going to go down the slope, turn around, and then come back up it. That duster is just four wheel drive lock and that's its lot. Here we go, little duster. It's good to watch it doesn't ground out on these steps. Oh, wheels going in the air. Now the front of that car, I didn't think it was damaged, but it is a little bit, just the under tray from my earlier incident. It's a little bit of plastic, it's fine. Oh, it looks like he's um, struggling down there. Let me get Graham to help him a little bit. Oh my gosh. Now, this should be very easy for this. I'm going to just go straight down here. I'm going to control it on the brake, not use hill descent control, because I need to go slower than the hill descent control can actually manage. Now, Graham is making signs to me, which um, are off-road signs that I don't understand. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, oh, 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 and now it's locked the central differential. There we go. What's he doing? And lock the rear one as well making sure that if a wheel goes in the air, I've still got traction where I need it. Oh, it's so easy. <laughs> no scale required. Just 84,000 pounds. Anyway, that's the easy bit done. Time to do the harder bit. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Is he gonna get cross axled? No, managed to keep moving. That could have happened that you had diagonal wheels off the ground and so the power just spins away. It's done it though. Go on, come on, Duster. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What a little legend. Oh, yeah, yeah. Graham just saying, get it straight. You'll just walk it. And I'm going to do it like this, like a total baller. There we go, look, there we go. Yeah, I'm just chilling, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I can hear the brakes just nibbling away. Oh, 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 diff's locking up. Whoa, <laughs> this is wicked. <laughs> and so easy as well. Oh, you got to give it to this car. It looks the part, it's luxurious, and it can just do it off-road. Let's see what Graham thought about that. Graham! <sighs> Do you really need me to tell you on that? <laughs> um, was it not the duster? No, I'm afraid not. So this is so easy. I mean, I recline my chair and I was just like fingertips on the steering just wheel. Bumpy road in this. Oh, so good. It's definitely two points to the Defender. One to the Duster, because it did make it up it there. Made it up. Did it scramble this way up? Okay, so in total then we have seven points so far to the Land Rover and five to the Dacia.
In this next challenge, we're gonna drive down a side slope and then we're gonna come round and then come up at an angle, up an incline. Now this will test, once again, the car's chassis articulation, the suspension travel, but also as we go up the slope, the departure angle. The departure angle on this car is 40 degrees, on the duster it's 33 degrees. And we'll see what difference that makes now. See how well this duster does. Ooh. Oh God, I'm glad I'm not in that. Oh my gosh. Did it though. Oh, we're off the ground again. Oh, looks good. This is gonna be quite literally a drive in the park, isn't it? <laughs> so easy. Oh, it's, it's too easy for this. Right, now we just need to head round and do the up the slope. So this will test the car's traction and the breakover angle. So the breakover angle for the duster is just 21 degrees. It's 28 for this Defender, even though it's quite long. Oh, he's getting there all right. Oh, a bit of front wheel spinach. That's spinach, not spinach. You know, not, not the vegetable. Anyway, let's go up here. This is gonna be so easy. I'm just gonna chug up here. Low range mode doing its thing. The diff's doing their thing. Oh, 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 a little bit of slippage. Oh, it felt a bit bottom outy. So I got a little bit cocky then, and I felt this car kind of spin its wheel a little bit before the brake stopped it, and almost like I bottomed out a bit. So there is um, um, a, like a little bit of carpet on the bottom of this, yeah, and it just rubbed that carpet there, but so did the duster, to be fair. Why are they fitting carpet to the outside of the car? It's to protect the, the chassis. Okay, okay, right. Duster done very well. It did, didn't it? But it still had to scramble. This, again, you said it yourself, walked it. Yeah, so two points to the Defender, one point to the Duster. Yeah, again, it's really trailing now. That means that overall the Dacia has six points and the Land Rover has nine points. And we've only got one more challenge, which means whatever happens, the Land Rover Defender has won. However, that Duster is just so much cheaper and it's doing so well that I think we need to even the balance a bit. So, you know what, Graham, I'd like you to give the Duster some bonus points for being so cheap yet so capable. So how many would you like to give it? I'm going to give it three points. So that means that the scores are even nine points each going into the final challenge where anything could happen. Right, final challenge then. All we've got to do is drive up that steep, rocky slope. So this is going to be a test of the car's traction, their power and their approach angle because we might go in quite quickly. And the approach angle on that Defender is 38 degrees, whereas on this it's 30 degrees. Here comes the Defender. Go on. Now. Oh, kind of had to try a little bit hard at the top there. <laughs> Doesn't bode well for me. He's on off-road tyres. I've got all-season tyres. Let me get into position, see what this duster can do. Come on, duster. Let's kick up some dust. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Absolutely did it. How oh, was that there? Did it, it was, bottom out a bit? It was entertaining. It yes, flew up, didn't it? It did hit the floor a couple of times. Oh, shoot. Um, but impressive, to be fair. If it was up against anything other than a Defender, I think it would have done quite well. But Defender walked it. Oh, okay, so which wins? Defender. Okay, two points to the Defender, one to the Duster. Even with its bonus points, didn't manage to do it, did it? So overall, 11 points for the Defender, 10 to the Duster, but it did really well, didn't it? Very well. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did give it a like, click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there, to go to Car Rate Silly Car, upload some photos and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Thanks for watching.